Hi boys and girls, welcome back to another Kids Sunday video. I'm Miss Christina. I'm so glad you decided to join us today. So today I brought with me a special cross. Do you guys have a cross at home? Maybe. We think of a cross uh, when we think of church and we also use the symbol of a cross when we think about Jesus, don't we? Yeah, a cross is also something that we wear on a necklace. Does anyone, this is my cross, does anyone have a cross on a necklace? I do. Sometimes we have a cross on a necklace. Sometimes there's a cross um, on your Bible. And so the cross is a very um, recognizable symbol. In today's Bible story, we're going to talk about when Jesus died on the cross. And that is an important part of our Easter story. All the things that we've been learning about have led up to this very special story. And this is one of the saddest stories in the whole entire Bible. So, everything in our Bible story today is true and it comes from the Bible. Um, if you guys remember, a few weeks ago, we learned about Jesus' triumphal entry, and people were welcoming Jesus into the town as their king. Then, um, Jesus was asked some very tricky questions, but he answered with wisdom and authority. Then, uh, we learned that Jesus ate his last supper uh, with his disciples, and he commanded them to remember him by eating that meal together. And last week, we learned that while he was in the garden praying, uh, Jesus was arrested, but he didn't do anything wrong. And this week, our story is called Jesus' Crucifixion. And it is a sad story. Um, and it, we're going to learn about the time that Jesus was, uh, died on the cross. And so, um, before we do that, I'm going to ask our big picture question. Do you guys remember what our big picture question is? Hmm, let's see if I can find my question mark. Where's question mark today? Boop, here's silly question mark. All right, I'm gonna move my cross over and our, maybe I'll move my cross over. Our big picture question is, what did Jesus do to save us? We've been talking all these weeks about what Jesus has done to save us, and today's Bible story is what Jesus did to save us. Jesus lived a sinless, perfect life. He died on the cross, and then he rose again from the dead, which we'll learn more about in the next coming weeks. But that's what Jesus did to save us. So, I hope you guys can get your listening ears on, because this is a great story. It's a, probably a story that you've heard before, but let's get our listening ears on and remember this important Bible truth. All right, let me get my listening ears on. Boop. Okay, the Bible story is next. Jesus stood before Pilate, the governor. Pilate asked him, are you the king of the Jews? Jesus answered, yes, that's right. Then the religious leaders made accusations against Jesus. But Jesus did not say anything. Pilate was surprised that Jesus was silent. Every year at Passover, the governor would free a prisoner, whichever prisoner the people chose. At that time, there was a prisoner named Barabbas, who was very dangerous. <laughs> So Pilate asked the crowd, who do you want me to set free? Barabbas or Jesus, who is called the Messiah? The crowd answered, Barabbas. Pilate asked, then what should I do with Jesus, who is called the Messiah? The crowd answered, crucify him. Pilate asked, why? What has he done wrong? But the crowd kept shouting, crucify him. Pilate's soldiers took Jesus to the governor's palace and gathered around him. 
They took off his clothes and put a scarlet robe on him. They made a crown of thorns and put it on his head. Then they hit Jesus and mocked him. Hail, King of the Jews, they said. The soldiers nailed Jesus to a cross. Then they cast lots to decide who would get his clothes. They put a sign above his head that said, This is Jesus, the King of the Jews. Two criminals were crucified next to him. As Jesus was on the cross, people mocked him. He saved others, but he cannot save himself, they said. From noon until three in the afternoon, darkness covered the land. Then Jesus cried out, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Jesus shouted again with a loud voice, it is finished. Then Jesus died. Suddenly the curtain in the temple sanctuary split in two from top to bottom and there was an earthquake. One of the men near the cross said, this man really was God's son. Jesus was buried in a rich man's tomb cut into a rock. A stone was sealed in front of the tomb, and Roman soldiers stood guard so that no one could steal Jesus' body. We deserve to die because of our sin, but God loves us and kept his promise to send a savior. Jesus never sinned, but he died in our place. He was the blood sacrifice made once and for all, for all the forgiveness of sin. Jesus rose from the dead on the third day, and those who trust in him have forgiveness and eternal life. Hi guys, what did you think about today's Bible story? It's a story that I know you've probably heard before, because this is one of the most famous stories that we talk about at church when Jesus died on the cross. So I came into my room and I brought my special cross that I have in my living room. Um, I wonder, do you guys have a cross at home? I was showing you earlier that I also have a cross on my necklace, remember? And um, so a lot of us have crosses to remind us of the story that we heard today. And this is one of the saddest stories in the whole entire Bible because Jesus died uh, a death uh, of a sinner. When they put people on a cross and crucified them, it meant that the people uh, did something wrong and that they were criminals. And Jesus was not a criminal. He did not have anything um, that he did wrong, remember? And so it was the saddest uh, story in the Bible because normally uh, people are guilty when they are crucified. But Jesus wasn't guilty. Um, and the Bible teaches that we have sin in our lives and we are guilty of sin and we are the ones who also deserve death. Uh, but Jesus died for us so that we don't have to suffer for our sins. Instead, God allows Jesus' death on the cross to take our place for the wrong that our sins have done. And so, this is why this week's Bible story is also the most important Bible story in the whole entire Bible. Because Jesus dying on the cross is why we um, read the Bible. This is the story that we get the most excited about. And, um, the week before Jesus died on the cross, people were praising his name, if you remember. And um, the crowds then later were laughing at Jesus, calling him and mocking him and calling him names and demanded that he was put to death on a cross. Um, and so the people even called for the murderer, remember, um, Barbarus, to be set free. And um, they preferred a dangerous criminal to be on the loose rather than to save Jesus. And it's important to realize, too, that Jesus could have completely stopped all of this from happening. But did he do that? No, he did not. He allowed evil people to, um, to do this to him. 
And um, he chose to let the evil plan happen because he knew that it was God's plan. And he, um, he knew that it was God's plan to save us as a people from our sins. So Jesus carried a cross, just like the crosses that we have in our homes, um, up to a hill and the Roman soldiers nailed his hands to the cross and they crucified him. And he died on that cross for our sins. And, um, and he did it because he was doing God's will. Jesus never sinned and he died in our place for our sins. The blood that was shed for, um, for us was a sacrifice made once and for all for forgiveness of the sins that we have in our lives. Jesus rose from the dead on the third day, which we'll learn about coming up. And um, for those who trust in him, you will also have forgiveness and eternal life in him. And this is the greatest Bible story ever. So I hope you guys understand this truth. And I hope this week that when you see a cross, it of course reminds you of Jesus. But it also reminds you of maybe somebody who doesn't know what this cross means. And I hope that you have the courage and the time to share this special story with someone you know who doesn't know this truth. All right, guys, have fun learning our memory verse one more time this week. Hi, boys and girls. I'm so excited to do our memory verse again this week. Remember what it is? Philippians 2, 8, it says, he humbled himself by becoming obedient to the point of death, even death on a cross. Philippians 2, 8. All right, let's try it again. Ready? He humbled himself by becoming obedient to the point of death. He was obedient to his father, 100%. All the way he was obedient. We have forgiveness and eternal life forever with God because Jesus' is perfect obedience, including his death and resurrection. So, our Bible story today is just like our memory verse. It goes together. All right, guys, I'm so glad that you had an awesome time learning this memory verse. I hope you can remember it all the time. It deserves a little bunny dance. Do a bunny dance. Do a bunny dance. Bye. Hi, guys. Welcome to craft time. So today's craft is a cross. Of course, because we've been talking about the cross this whole morning. So it's kind of a special cross though. Um, there's a few parts to it and I'll show you up close. There's lots of pretty colors um, and then we're adding some words at the bottom. Uh, but if you got our email, we sent an email and we got, this is what I sent out in our email. It is a paper with a cross template. And if you don't have this, you can just draw a cross on a piece of paper. So you need this cross template, another piece of plain paper. Um, if you have brown construction paper, we're going to use some brown construction paper. If you don't, then you can use either brown crayon or brown marker. Um, and some crayons and markers, or in my craft I use watercolors and a glue stick and um, snippy scissors.
So to get started on this craft, the first thing that I did was I made the background for my cross. So this is actually two pieces of paper. So what I did is I took my plain piece of white paper and I used watercolors and I colored the whole background of my paper. So if you don't have watercolors, you can use markers or crayons and decorate the back of your uh, paper as colorful as you can because um, it's starting to become springtime soon and we want our craft to look bright and colorful like springtime. So you color the background and if you're using watercolors you need to let it dry. Um, and the next step is to get your cross. So you can use your snippy scissors uh, to cut out your cross and once you cut out your cross I used brown construction paper and I tore little sheets off. So I took the sheet and I tore little pieces off like this. See? And then I glued them all over my cross and I made my cross brown to kind of resemble wood. Do you see? Because the cross that Jesus carried was made out of wood. Um, so after I had all of my little pieces, I glued them onto my cross. And then uh, once my background was dry, I glued my cross onto my paper. And on the bottom, I wrote, Jesus loves me. Because that is such an important truth to remember from our Bible story today. That is the whole reason why Jesus died on the cross. Because he loves us so much that he wanted to make a way for us to be with him in heaven forever. And he made a way for us to do that by dying on the cross for our sins. So I hope you guys have fun making this craft today. And um, I hope it can be a colorful cross craft for you. Um, and I also hope that you guys have time this week to share this amazing story with somebody who might not know this story. All right, before we go, um, as always, we're gonna fold our hands and say our prayer. So our hands we fold, our heads we bow, so we can talk to God just now. Dear God, thank you for sending your son Jesus to die on the cross for our sins. Thank you for this very special Bible story. And uh, we know that it's the saddest story, God, but it's the, also the most exciting story. So I pray this week that we would remember our Bible story and think about others who might not know this story. And give us the uh, courage to share these wonderful things with others. We love you, God. Amen. All right, guys. I hope you have a great week, and I'll see you again next time. Bye.